तो आई 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 ऑलवेज हैव हैबिट ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग आई डोंट नो लास्ट टाइम आल्सो आई मिस ओके सो सो आई विल जस्ट क्विकली रिवाइज व्हाट वी हैव डन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लूप्स टुडे एंड इन लूप्स यू नो बिफोर वी गेट इनटू द लूप्स वी स्पोक अबाउट रेंज रेंज इज अ फंक्शन दैट जनरेट्स रेंज ऑफ वैल्यूज सो रेंज कैन टेक either you know can take one or two or three numbers right so when you have hmm. three numbers it means the first number is a starting value which is including that means it starts from that number ends with the middle value okay and ending is up to excluding okay so you don't touch end you just stop before end right you don't touch it hmm. okay and then increment the third variable that we pass the third value that we pass is the increment So if I say three fifteen four, it means starts from three. Start from three. Next number should be three plus four, your seven. Okay, and then next should mm-hmm. be seven plus four, eleven, and then eleven mm-hmm. plus four. Okay, fifteen. But we said it's up to fifteen, not at fifteen. So we don't go beyond eleven. We stop at eleven. So range will generate values like three seven eleven. That means it's generating three values. So range. Three fifteen eleven will generate three values, which is starting from three, increment by four, and go up to fifteen. So range even can take two values. So when range takes two values, it means it's taking starting and the ending value. Okay, increment is by default one. So it means you start from three, then take next value, which is three plus one four five six, not seven because seven would make it equal to the ending value. We said up to seven. So it's going to generate three, four, five, and six. Now range four, okay. When you have only one value in range, it means it is the ending value. It means we don't have start or increment. We don't have start number or increment number. We only have ending number, okay. And ending number in this case is four. So it's going to generate values zero, one, two, and three. It stops at three. It doesn't go beyond three. Right. So, depending upon the situation, you can use one you know, range with one values, range with two or three. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now we are going to see how we can use the concept of range in loops. Okay. So as I said, uh, there are two ways to implement loops. We have for loop and while loop. Okay. For loop will generate values. Okay. When. Okay. So. For loop is used. Let me comment it out this way also. Is used when you know exactly how many times to run. When you know exactly how many times, I need to run loop ten times. I need to run loop five times. I need to run loop fifteen times. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then you know. So you use for loop. a uh, while loop is used when you don't know how many times but you know the condition under which you will operate so when you know until what condition so what i mean by that is so if i tell you keep walk i mean i tell you go uh, run 5 kilometers if i tell you run 5 mm-hmm. kilometers that is the distance that you are running so you know exactly the exact distance that you have to run that is 5 kilometers so in such case it's like an example of for loop okay you keep running keep running keep running for 5 kilometers second example is while okay so and i don't tell you uh, how many kilometers i tell you keep running till you see the end goal or end post okay mm-hmm. or when you see the end sign so i don't tell you how many kilometers how many miles to run but you know that you need to keep running till you see that end post or end goal okay so you take a take a step you see no you have to run more take another step take another step you keep doing so it you can find the end goal within half mile or you might see after 20 miles also you never know right so yeah. but you know the condition so i have to do it till certain condition is true okay so there are two ways to do it when you know okay so later when you become expert with programming you can use for loop for while also while for for loop also right but that's not the right way okay right way is 
looking at the business problem, you know whether to use for loop or to use while loop. Okay. Now, if I tell you to generate number from 1 to 10, generate mm -hmm. number from 1 to 10, which one would be the best option? Generate numbers from 1 to 10. Uh, hmm. Obviously, from 1, 1 to... No, no. Huh? Which would be best option? For loop or while loop? Oh, okay. When I know how many times to run, so because it is 1 to run, right? So, it, I will be taking for loop for that. Uh -huh. And you know exactly how many times to run. Because it's 1 to 10, no? <laughs> Yes, correct. You're right. Okay. <clears throat> so, as I said, you can do it while loop also. But as you said, you know exactly from when to start, when to run. So, we'll use for loop. Okay. So, for loop uses range. So, let's now see a few examples of for loop. And then we'll come mm -hmm. back to while loop. Okay. <laughs> so, this is how you use for loop. So, you say for space. Okay. Then you give a counter. Because when I say run 10 miles, you need to have something in your mind which will calculate the distance. Okay, one mile, two mile, three mile, four mile, five mile done, so you stop. So you need to have a counter, isn't it? So we say mm -hmm. for counter, okay, in. So counter has to get value from somewhere. So for is a command which you say that I need to use a for loop. And to use for loop, you need a counter, which will keep track of the counting. So you say counter. And then counter has to take value from somewhere. Some, somebody has to tell, okay, you have done one kilometer. That's when you say, okay, one done, right? So you're running, yeah. probably you will have a smartwatch that will tell you done one, one miles. So you say, okay, tick one, right? So in this case, we don't have smart, but we have something called as range, right? And I will say 1, 11. Why 1, 11? Because I have I told you to print number from 1 to 10. So including 1 up to 10. So you need to go 1 beyond 10, right? You go to 11. And anyway, increment is 1. So it doesn't matter. You'll say counter in range 1, 11. Okay. Bracket open. Print counter. So um, always we should write an increment number for it, like it is from 1 to 10 also, we should be giving it as 1. I'm, one I'm not giving here, right? Um, Like, it gave here 1 and comma 11, right? Uh, one is the starting one. value. <laughs> yeah. And 10 is the uh, ending value, right? Correct. And there's okay. no increment. So, when there's no increment, means what? I want to increase by? Okay, fine. Right? I want to increase by 1, right? So when I mm -hmm. run it, you see, you get from 1 to 10. Right? So this is how, you know, you can use for loop. So for counter in range. And there are other ways of implementing for loop, which we'll discuss later. As we go along, we'll talk about a string and list, and we'll talk about those things there. Okay? Mm -hmm. So coming back to our same example now. So this is to generate numbers from 1 to 10. Now I want to generate numbers. Uh, to generate numbers, uh, okay, odd numbers between one and ten. I want to generate odd numbers between one and ten. So what will I do? Do I'll say for i in range. I am using i as the counter here. One mm. comma ten. Okay. <clears throat> And odd numbers. Odd will be, I'm adding 2 here. So 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, so on. Right? And mm -hmm. now I say print <coughs> i. Right? So what happens? Mm -hmm. I said 1, comma 10, comma 2. So you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So I have generated odd numbers between 1 and 10. So between 1 and 10, you have these numbers as odd numbers. Right? If you want to generate even numbers between 1 and 10, so... I can directly put 
like one comma eleven. Yeah. In fact, in this case, okay, the ten is not right thing. I said between one and ten. If I say including ten, I have to go on one step beyond ten, right? Eleven, I have yeah. to say. Okay. Here also, I'm between one and ten, so I have to say eleven, right? Okay. And I'll say two here. So when you run it, you get. Oops, one. I think so, it's like one plus one, not two over there. Correct. So it should start from zero, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe <laughs> two. Correct. Or maybe so, you can put the increment as one. No, if, if that is one. If I say increment one, one, then two plus one, uh, one plus one, two is fine. But what will mm. get after two? Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. So you that's get three, fine. isn't it? Yes. Mm. So mm. that's why it's for first time it is okay, but not from second time, third time. So you mm. get two, four, six, eight, ten. Mm. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. So these these are okay, uh, different ways of implementing your uh, uh, you know for loop okay so let's let's try to change the level let's try to change the gear now okay we'll try to do some interesting programs using for loop so if i have to draw a single star i'll say print right print star now print star will print a single star for us right now if mm -hmm. i have to repeat five times i want to repeat five times so to repeat mm -hmm. five times okay I don't have to say print five. Now that we know loops, I can simply say for i in range five. So range five will generate what numbers? Zero, one, two, three, four, right? And now if I say print star, okay, it is going to print star five times, right? This i is zero, i is one, i is two, i three, i now four. Till i four, it's going to print. So how many times star got printed? Five times star got printed. Hmm. Right. So if you want to print only one, you print print star. Hmm. But if you want to print it five times, you have to say you have to put it in a loop. Right. That's the best hmm. way. Okay. Put it in a loop and say print star. So it's going to print five times. Okay. Um. So this is good. Now, um, I want to print. Okay. Let me okay. I want to print the stars in single line. Okay. Okay. So here it is printing in different line, correct? Now I want to mm. print the stars in uh, uh in same line. So what okay. do we do? Any hint? Um <clears throat> backslash something at the end. Okay, uh, so, we about, so we discussed about so we discussed about end command, right? The beginning, oh, E and yeah. D, and we yes. discussed yeah how that you know is used to break the line yeah, exactly. So I don't want to print new line after star. Print will always put new line. I don't yeah. want to print new line. If I don't want to put new line, I will say okay, and equal to. Right and okay, and instead of new line, let me put star. Uh, let me put space. Okay. Hello? So now when you run it, okay. So you see, you get. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is how you print line, in vertically. This is how you print line horizontally. Right now, I want to generate horizontal and vertical both. Okay, that means this is the pattern I want to draw. Five stars, okay, five times square. Okay. Star square. If I want to draw in this fashion, what will I do? So see the logic. Okay, this is um, printing us five stars, correct? Yes. This is printing five stars. This is what it's doing one fifth of the work that we want. So now we want it to repeat it five times. We're saying, okay, you could that you gave me one row of stars, but I want you mm -hmm. to repeat doing it five times. So I want you to repeat mm -hmm. this entire thing five more times. 
So I'll say for, mm -hmm. because I have already used I, here I can use different number, J in range 5. Okay, for J in range 5, these, this is inside this, this is inside this. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now this this job is to print. Printing is done by the inner loop only. So first J is zero because rain starts from zero to four, right? So J mm. is zero, it comes in. I is zero, it prints. But now the inner loop has to complete fully, right? So mm. uh, I becomes zero, one, two, three, four. Done, finishes I uh, star, goes up to the beginning. Okay, mm. goes to the beginning. Again, it prints. The J becomes one now comes inside, okay, I starts from 0 to 4 again, so 5 times, prints I star 5 times, go up, okay, and then again, now J is 2, it comes in, prints 5 times, so if you keep doing it, you get stars like this, right? Now, why did we get stars okay. like this is first, we said N equal to blank, right? So now what's happening, yeah. it's all printing in the same line. Same line, yeah. We have to break the line. Correct? So, okay. first thing I have to look at is here. Here also we did the end equal to blank. So, so cursor mm. is waiting and this is also printing along with this one. Right? So, first of all, we need to break the line over there. <laughs> right? So that, okay. you know, these this starts after some gap. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are done with one row, when you are done with one row, Next row when you are printing, next row is here. So before you print next row, just change the line. Okay, so print will do the work for us. Print is anyway printing one blank line, right? So this will do the mm -hmm. job for us. And when you run it, you see, you get five starts, five squares. Okay. Right? Mm. <coughs> Hello. Yes. Understood, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's tweak this further. So, I printed this. Now, what I want is, I want to print only one star in first row, two stars in second, okay? Third star in third line. You know, four stars mm. in fourth line and five stars in fifth line. Mm. So how do I do that? The hint is you take this mm. and we have to tweak something here. So we want to get this pattern. Mm. <clears throat> Okay. So see, are we changing the number of rows? Number of rows. <clears throat> yeah. Like uh, in every row, we were uh, going with one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> right. So we are not changing number of rows, right? So in the previous example, also we had five rows. Here also we have five. Mm. All right. So we are not changing the number of it number of times you have to repeat the whole line. 
number of times we are changing the whole line is not getting changed. So this J will not get changed. Okay. J mm -hmm. loop will not get changed. What gets changed here is I loop here. What gets changed here is I loop. Right? Why I loop gets changed? Because you're talking about first just one, then two, then mm -hmm. three, so on. Right? So, but we have number constant five. It doesn't, it, it shouldn't be constant. It should be dependent yeah, should on be. like, yeah, first it should be one, one then three, two, three, then three. three. Mm. So, is there a way we can make it <clears throat> that way? Yeah, five in the middle, one at the start. And uh, if I just say one, G five, plus one. one, it does the trick for us, right? J is zero. Oh, okay. Can't be right. Like <clears throat> we have took example in the. How can you see? Right? Okay, see how can you write? <laughs> write? How can you do that? Because you don't have control. Once you say one to ten, can you can you touch it? Can you go in between tenth row? No. Okay. 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 Now if I tell you run five miles, you are running. Can I go and talk to in middle? No. Because now your focus is on running. So if I have to give you an instruction, I have to give you before start of the race. I cannot give mm -hmm. you instruction in between because you are running it. Okay. <clears throat> right? So once you say uh, this run, you cannot... See, I can put if conditions here. Mm -hmm. Right? I can put if conditions here. But how do you put if condition? <coughs> right so yes so you know um, we cannot okay do that okay so we have to do something different some something different so this will work so because when j is zero now it is one. When J mm. is, uh, when J is one, this becomes two. Mm. And this is what we want, right? Yeah. So now when you run it, you see, you get this pattern here. Mm. This is what you wanted. Yes. <coughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So now let's make one small change here. Um, so this is fine. Now I take this data, okay, and I want to print, okay, so sorry. Yeah, I did one to five, right? Let me do five to one. So this is five, four, three. Okay. Two and one. So we need this obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, how to change it? So mm, minus one, J minus one. I don't think we can write something like that. <clears throat> tell me, tell me what. Uh, now the numbers, I mean the star numbers are decreasing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So I think I thought it's J minus one. Mm -hmm. but... Okay. So now. <clears throat>
So it has to start from five, right? Yeah. And somehow you have to keep decreasing it. Yeah. Right? So I thought minus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So minus one will make it four. Five minus one is four, isn't it? Four becomes um, constant. <clears throat> I mean, like j minus one, so that it starts. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, okay. Right. So if I say, um, you know, uh, five minus one, it becomes four. So I can say five minus j, because j is first zero. So five minus zero is mm -hmm. five itself, and five minus one. And five minus two, so on, right? Okay. So, so see, you get five to one. Mm. Okay. Right. Mm. Okay. Now, so this this works well. Now let's say. Uh, uh, we are done here. Okay. Now, let's say I take this same pattern and I put it here. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to give space here. So instead of right angle triangle, I want to draw something like isosceles triangle, something like this. Okay. How do we do? I think and the code goes the not the upper one like uh, J plus one only, but for the gaps we are uh -huh. using end right. Uh, I think for that the numbering should be changed. Yeah. So see here if you see here. So here there are uh, see. So far, we have not bothered about spaces because spaces were on the right side. Obviously, yeah. if we don't print, space mm. will be on the right side only. Now, this mm. is different because <laughs> we have spaces on the left side. Correct? We have spaces mm. on the left mm. side. So, this becomes different. If you have spaces on the left side, okay, mm. you have to print spaces also. We have to print spaces also because spaces on the left side. So, we have to print it. So first I have to print space and then I have to print star. Now if you see, this is like printing the inverted triangle space uh, spaces. So this is like mm -hmm. combination of first two pattern that we created. Just that the inverted triangle here is the space triangle, right? So first we do this, right? For loop is here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we will get the first one. So this this one, if you see, this is the inverted triangle. So we need this. This we need, okay, because to print the space, right? So I'm mm -hmm. getting this because I want to print space here. I will delete star and space is being printed by end. Or you give space here and you remove the star, whatever works for you, right? So mm -hmm. see earlier it was we we wanted to print uh, you know earlier we printed star but here we want to print space so this is the one which is giving us the inverted triangle I five to one we won't use five minus j right because we will uh, use five minus j right because this is what is doing right five minus j is giving you five then four then three then two then one okay okay. Right, so this is giving us the inverted triangle. So I copied just that. What I did, I removed star and I gave space. 
Now mm. we need star. Star is what? Star is like 1 to 5. So we'll go mm. 1 to 5 and we'll copy this. Okay. We'll copy and mm. take this. So now I'm going to print it here. Now in this case, I is mm. already used here. So I can't use I. I have to use some other variable. So let me use K. Something okay. like this. So I'm printing star. And there's no space. We have to print, uh, sorry, we are printing space and continuously we have to print star also, no space. We have to print star also. So star. And now when you are done with one row, you have to print the blank line, right? Now let's run and see. Do you are we getting? Yes, see? We got the pattern. You see there's a space here. That means we got an extra space everywhere. So I, to remove extra space, I will say minus one. Minus one in the space. If you do minus one, okay, everywhere else is one extra minus is one extra space is removed. Okay. Right? So you get this star. So this is how you can get this star done. Now, your assignment here is, mm -hmm. okay, get the same stuff, okay, okay, but in reverse order. So, I want you to focus on star, oops, okay, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I want you to give space here. Something like this. Okay. Yeah. Try. Okay. Hmm. Okay. One more example we'll do, and then hmm. we will leave uh, y for loop, and we'll okay. We'll go to y. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, I want to print a multiplication table of of I want to print five into one. So, if I have to print five into one, okay, I will say number equal to 5, multiple equal to 1, and I'll say print, okay, f string, and here I'm going to say your n into m okay, n into m equal to n into m right mm. so if you print it let's see what do we get so you get 5 into 1 equal to 5 right if you want to give space you can give space here also fine so 5 into 1 equal to 5 awesome mm. um now next I want to write multiplication table. I want to do multiples of 1 to 10. Mm. So to do 1 to 10, I have to use loop, for loop, isn't it? Mm. So if I say here, for i or j, whatever, i in range, and it starts from 1 and goes up to 10. So I have to say 1, 11, right? Mm. And instead of m, I will say, here I or maybe I'll put M here no? so that you don't have to change other things. Right? So now when you run it, up oh, indentation error, it has to be inside yeah. for loop, right? Okay. Yeah. So see, you get merge table of five. Mm. Okay. 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 Now <clears throat> I want to create multiple table of one to ten. Table of 1 to okay. 10 and each having 10 multiples. So, okay. so, same like, you know, I'll have to put this in another loop. And here I will say for n in range. And I'll say 1, 10, 1, 11. 11. Mm -hmm. So, same thing I want to repeat. Okay. So, you know, so you get this first table of 1, 1 into 1, 1 into 2, then 
2 into 1, 2 into 3 into, okay, 4 into, 5 into, okay, 6 into, 7 into, 8 into, right? We got this. But we don't want this. I want it to display in <clears throat> in same form, like first, like one table. So something like 1 into 1 equal to 1. Then it should be 2 into 1. Then, you know, 10 into okay. 1 equal to 10 and so on. And last row should be mm. 1 into 10 equal to 10. So on, it will be 10 into 10, right? Mm. This is how I want to display. So, you know, maybe I can put here 2 into 10 equal to 20 so on, right mm -hmm. so i want to display something like this so what happens here is <clears throat> this first set of values should be printed in same line just like the stars so mm -hmm. to print in the same line i have to say end equal to blank correct or maybe give two spaces and now if i don't break it line Everything will be printed horizontally, like 1 to 100 will be printed horizontally mm. like this. Nice? No. So after printing 10, after printing the inner 10, I want to break the line. So I'll say print. Okay? So okay. you get this. Now, yeah. if you look closely, if you see, 1 into 1 is 1, fine. But next, it should be 2 into 1, not one in, 2 into 1. It should be 1 into 2. Right? Generally, oh, yeah. we write number first and multiple yes, later. Yes. yes. And if you see same, here it should be 1 into 3, 1 into 5. Here it should be 2 into 1, not 1 into 2. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? So what it means that we need to interchange this. So instead of N, we'll write M. And instead of mm -hmm. M, we'll write N. M. Okay. And then you run it. So 1 into 1, 2 into 1, 3 into 1, 1 into 2, 1 into 10. So it looks great, isn't it? See. Uh, why is it then, uh, I mean, like from three, it is like to the one is to the side. It's just because of the numbers. Sorry, sorry. Can we repeat it again? Uh, one table and two table are in the line. Uh, but uh -huh. from three, it's like, like, can you see in this three table? After three, four, from three, five, 15, it's correct, like correct. it's a between. It's Correct. Dancing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's because, see, you have one digit here. It suddenly becomes two digit, right? So when okay. you say two digit, it will shift by one space, correct? So okay. the, so see, here it is all fine because it is all one digit. One the digit, moment you got okay. two digit, it got shifted by a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's getting okay. shifted, right? So to handle this, we have discussed this before. How do we handle it? Remember? I think spacing only. Padding, yes. So what we'll do is, okay, we'll give two spaces. Let's say we give two spaces to M. So if you remember, we did that with uh, uh, text. So we said comma, less than, greater than, okay, make the alignment, and then I said two. So I'm giving fixed two spaces. Even if it is one space also, it will take two space. Okay. Okay. For N also, I'm going to do colon greater than two and output has three value three digit right so here i'm going to say colon greater than three okay right now mm. when you run it <clears throat> it looks better isn't it yeah so now i'm giving fixed place i'm giving two places to all so even though one is taking only one space but it is reserving one space on the left. Okay. So now if everything is fitting just the way we want to. Yeah. Okay. So we'll stop here today. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And the next session will focus on while. Mm. Okay.